we really think that one of the things we want to do better is tell our story better in the community uh, so that folks understand who we are and what we, we really are. I arrived in Tyler in, in July 2014 to help plan uh, and develop the uh, model for early college high school here in Tyler. We opened in 2015 with 117 ninth graders. Uh, we are a school of choice. Our students apply for, uh, to attend early college. We are in a partnership with Tyler Junior College, which is an excellent partnership. Our students uh, work on their associate's degree and a high school diploma at the same time. One of the advantages of attending early college high school is that there's no charge to the student or the parent to attend. So their tuition, books, everything is paid for uh, by the district. I heard about it from some teachers and some other students in middle school and then um, later my parents heard about it. So I think just kind of from multiple sources the word just kind of got around, which is surprising because like still even after like four years later a lot of people don't know about it, but um, I think I just heard about it from some teachers. They had a, a high school kind of like get together in the eighth grade year and it's like the high schools are supposed to come and show the community like what activities and clubs they have and off in like the corner we were my family like took a walk around and then Miss Frazier was standing behind a table and was like have you heard of early college and I was like we should have stayed to the right but <laughs> she told us about it and that it was uh, a program with a program where you could get an associate's degree at the same time as your high school diploma so that's how we heard about it. Wait, they have like a uh fair kind of thing where you can look at all the different programs for high school so ECHS was there and at that point it wasn't even like a school yet like it didn't really exist so um, that was like their first kind of like opening to the world our principal Miss Frazier had a booth and my Hi. me and my parents went up and talked to her and she explained about the program and then my parents were like okay you're gonna apply so that was my first glimpse at early college. Early College High School is a program that allows students who are at risk of not graduating from high school, who typically are identified as low socioeconomic, first generation, um, and underserved as far as their um, ethnic grouping at colleges. So as students that are kind of in that middle section that you know they're good students, but not maybe of the strongest academic uh, achievement. So it's how do you take students like that and then have them be successful in both the school district and in the college uh, model. Our first goal is that they graduate from high school. Our second goal is that they have some college and they've learned how to um, go through the system of college. They understand FAFSA, they understand registration cycles, they understand what it means to study and, and we provide the support systems in an early college to help that student whose parents didn't go to college, whose parents never went to college, who they don't have any family members who understand the college process. I'm the oldest of four, um, I'm the only girl. I decided to come to early college because I wanted to get my associate's degree early. I'll be the first generation in my family to be to go to college and go to UT, so I'm kind of excited about that. My mom graduated high school and I think she did some college, but she didn't graduate or nothing like that. My dad. He just uh, went to high school now. So they always tell me to do better than what I did. They always want me to do bigger and better things, especially since I'm the oldest. They want me to set an example for my little brothers, and not even my brothers, but my cousins. I'm the oldest, like, grandchild and stuff like that, so I have to keep up the image, I guess, a little bit. So early college high school starts with students in eighth grade apply for the program, and then um, they're accepted into the program, and as ninth graders, they start pursuing an associate's degree. The students are selected by the school district. So the, school, the college role is to ensure that we support the decision by the school district. In many, in many early college high schools throughout the country, sometimes it's just a lottery system. Everybody puts their names in and names are drawn. The school districts that we're participating with go much further than that. It's not about just luck. It's about an interview process. It's about students submitting a letter of intent that explain and share that they have an interest in the early college high school and why. Then it also includes a commitment with the family that says, we're willing to support this. Then it comes interview processes as well. 
where the student is being interviewed to determine if that student really has, if this is going to be a fit. So the early college high school, I'm convinced, can help everybody. But in fairness, it really is about both interviewing. It's a student interviewing to see, is this really who I want to get into? And then the collaboration, determining that this student has the best chance to be successful through this model of education. So first, you have to fill out a whole application where they ask you about like what kind of person you are, and they ask you questions um, about why you want to go to early college. Um, and it has the teacher recommendation letters too, so you have to have a good feedback from your teacher to go here. Just kind of basic stuff like why do you want to come here, also kind of about my personal background and family life and as far as like, you know, maybe how that will affect my ability to go to college, um, maybe what my future plans are, which back then I don't really think that I knew exactly, um, but just kind of general stuff about me and about um, my academics and college in general. Well, for a fact, there's the free two years of college, which is really obvious. Um, that's, that's a really good privilege for students to have because um, some of us can't afford school. Um, but also the staff here, the environment. Um, we benefit a lot from it because we can help each other more since we're a smaller school. Since it's a smaller school, you get to talk, like you have more connections with your teachers. <laughs> I think the main benefit is honestly um, getting the opportunity to go to college earlier and kind of being immersed in that lifestyle from, I want to say mainly like 11th grade is kind of when it started because that's when we actually start to go on campus at TJC and just getting into the actual feel of college classes because I feel like for a lot of kids going to college it's like this big like shock like right after they leave high school because their high school classes were like super easy they didn't even have to like pay attention it wasn't really like immersive you know and then they get to college and it's like this big transition so I think um, having that experience early on and also of course getting the two years paid for is really nice so you know this is a big thing for us here getting the kids to think college, because these are young people whose parents, grandparents, in, never went to college and didn't graduate, much less. And so getting their minds on, you know, what does it mean to go to college is, uh, is really a big part of what we do. Um, you know, setting the trajectory for the next well, 40 years. I mean, you know, you're talking about your situation yourself, and you know, where are you going to be 10 years from now, 20 years from now? I'm in the twilight of things, and for all these young people, there, the sun is rising for them. There's the transition to high school first, and then there's the second transition into high school and college. So, especially with me being part of the first graduating class we're kind of having to like figure it all out by ourselves with not a whole lot of like, like we don't have upperclassmen to like kind of guide us through it. We just have to, like we're the guinea pigs and we just have to go through it and like see what happens. So that was definitely a struggle, but we kind of coped with it by banding together and making friendships. I guess the thing I would say is that I'm discovering, and, and with rare exception because there are you know, if you, uh, the kids that are here want to be here. And that has a pretty profound impact on the environment, the climate. It's a very positive, laid back, high stress, if you can have those two at the same time. I used to ride horses and that was like my favorite hobby. And I did continue it in freshman year and then the summers of sophomore and junior year, I think. But um, like during the school year, I was just too busy to really think about having a lot of extracurriculars. So that's definitely one thing that is a trade off. Like you don't get as much free time, but then you do get this rigorous academic preparation that helps you later in life. I had a, I had a lot of friends because it was more, so it was a lot of people at more. And when I got here, it was like, I could keep being friends with people who don't go to my school or I could fail and then like get in a lot of trouble. So it was more of a, um, 
just having to lose contact with a lot of people who didn't really understand like what all the program was asking for if you were in it. It's just like obviously the stress that comes with it and like kind of like the anxiety of like going and taking these classes that maybe like you're the only one in there that you know. Because in high school it's like you have classes with the same people, you kind of are familiar, but going to TJC it's like sometimes you're just thrown into classes and you're kind of on your own. Oh, I used to play the violin. I was a passionate player. But these days, I don't play anymore. But I would say that giving that up was a good choice for me because I feel like if I was hung up on that at a normal high school setting, I wouldn't be focused as I am in the future, as I'd be right here, right now. Um, it's because like, music isn't really something that I would be doing in the future, but it's more like a hobby something I can pick up later in the future if I want to. But um, thinking about your future is more important. The traditional high school model in America has lots to offer. I mean, there's a lot to be said for Friday night sports or basketball games or band concerts and competitions. There's a lot to be said for fine arts and theater and so forth. And so students do give up a, 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 a lot to come here. However, we also have students who can participate at TJC in intramural programs. While they may not be on the uh, TJC baseball team playing collegiate baseball, they can be on the intramural soccer team and other sports. So there are avenues through TJC. Uh, we have clubs here on our campus. Uh, we have kids who play basketball at lunchtime and, and after school and, and shoot the hoops and do things like that. Uh, we have multiple clubs for music, for fine arts. We have an art club, a music club. So while it's not your standard traditional competition model, we do have opportunities for our kids to, to have uh, extra uh, curriculars in fine arts. I really want to specialize in like exotic veterinary medicine and then eventually go work at like zoos or like research projects or something like that. I got accepted into UT. That was the big thing for me. I was like, huh, I don't know where college I want to go to. I don't know what I want to do, like for sure. I know I want to work in the medical field, but when I got the letter and I was like, I did it. Like all that work and you see the letter in your hand, you get the email, you working on like the something like you did it. And I just, I felt really happy about that. So that's the big thing right now. I would hope that I could graduate from a really good med school that I can have a good job already, um, earning money and having a really good life, you know. Maybe I would be worrying about debt, but that's something like I can handle. I'm not scared of debt, <laughs> but I feel like I should be. But um, anyway, I don't know, just an ordinary life, sustainable. My mom's friend's daughter, which we were really close to, like I was one years old at the time, she was seven. She went to go get a mole removed and then the anesthesiologist messed up and she died. And so, I don't know, I just felt I could do better. I wanna be a trauma nurse and to that, like the lowest education you can have is your bachelor's. Cause it's like, you can be an RN with your associates, but to do the field that I want, you have to have your bachelor's degree. But then I thought about it and I was like, when you hear like people, the hospital's losing money, like nurses are, usually the first ones they let go. So I was like, I need to get my master's to, if they try to let me go, be like, ha, huh, I got this. And so you just have like one, one up on them. So that's the reason I'm still going into education. It's definitely affected my family in a positive way, obviously, because they don't have to pay for my first two years of college, which they really couldn't have paid anyway, you know. They, it's just kind of like, oh, that's kind of on you to do. So it's definitely like helped lighten that load as far as like them not having to worry so much. <laughs> to see a child go from nobody believes in them except for the early college people to, man, I can work in auto tech and make a really good living, but I can work in engineering and make maybe even a better living. Uh, and to see a child see his own potential, we've accomplished our goal. The second thing is, um, I'll probably cry. They become my kids through the process. 
And so I cried every graduation. I've had one. I'm going to cry at this one too because we do become a family. We invest a lot of time and a lot of energy into them. And so, um, you know, that makes it worth it all. When you see a kid walk across the stage and their family's crying and they're going, thank you so much. And I've done nothing but make a schedule for them. And so, and support them and encourage them and talk them out of quitting. 